reacts. Testing, testing, one, two, three, and we are live. Okay. Uh, what's up, guys? George the Cloud here. My name is Jorge, aka George. Welcome to the channel and welcome to my life. If this is your first time tuning in, I'm sorry that you have to see me like this with my nose all band aid and I don't know, I'm self conscious. I have, I have a band aid on my nose because life happens, but uh, it will heal, it will get better. Today, we're checking out Brunette Superstar Illness official music video. I have never even heard of this person before, I don't think. So I'm not familiar with their music at all. If you are a brunette super fan, please in the comments, let me know a little bit about her. I think it is, um, you know, kind of like her background, where she comes from, uh, what style of music, etc. I'm, I'm interested. I don't want to read too far here. It's, I, I see it's just the lyrics. So we're going to get right into it. Um, Without further ado, get some popcorn, fill up your water, put your headphones on, and let's go. By the way, nobody told me to watch this. I was just kind of scrolling through uh, YouTube, and I saw this, and I thought to myself, you know what? Why not? Why not watch this? That's how you got to treat life, guys. Um, every opportunity, you take it. You grasp it in the palm of your hand, and you crush it. Okay, let's watch the video. I'm ready. Could you leave everything behind and start life all over again? Choose one thing only, to be faithful to it. Make it the reason for your existence. The only thing that contains everything, because your dedication to it makes it infinite. Could you? When I want to be alone, I start cut my fingers. Cause my head is blowing hard like the snow in winters. Run away from bodyguards, showing middle fingers. Let's now me, don't be down, let superstar ill. My hair is slick, bun glasses in black. I turn and everyone following my gaze. To everyone out there Drinking and sipping it till the end Next day living the same like that Sitting on the bench with a guy who's French No one is aware Ma prod le français Je veux ton procès Et tu parles d'être avec moi <laughs> when I want to be alone, I start cut my fingers. Cause my head is blowing hard like the snow in winters. Run away from bodyguards, showing middle fingers. That's now me, don't be down, that superstar illness. Hair and slick bun, glasses in black. Turn and everyone following my ways. Scream and shout to everyone out there. Drinking this every day till the end. Trash. 
Ultra interesting. No, nah, I'm trying to do a French accent. I've ruined it. Um, wow. What do we have here? Interesting. Who is she? What what are we dealing with here? Uh, first things first. We hit the like. We subscribe. And um, I'll uh, I even ring the bell. I'm serious. We support every artist here. I'll have a link of the original video down in the description below. She only only has seventy six thousand subscribers. Um, not a lot for a musician. So I'm wondering if she is, you know, brand new. If she's just trying to take off, or if she's more like flying under the radar and she's really good. Maybe this video is, you know making her pop off because it has more than a million views and it came out um well actually like uh, four weeks or something like that three weeks uh but wow this is really interesting i'm trying to figure out you know to start off where she's from what country this could even be i am i am puzzled intrigued even she's singing in english She's singing in French. This part may be Arabic. I don't even know. She is a she's a hybrid. One of those. A a combination of different styles, different places, different things makes for a, a juicy and, and creative artist when you have you know different things in your background. But where could this be? I mean, like I said, I mean, my gut tells me she's more of like maybe a bit Arabic from like an Arabic background, but lives in, in France. But I don't know. I'm just speculating. I, I really don't, you know, there's it's so artistic. Everything she's doing here, almost like a fashion show, um, a lot of different outfits, the styles. And this is just in the, in the studio, but the way they're filming this, making it look so cool, right? Much more dramatic than than it could be if it was just, you know, somebody taking pictures there. This is really cool. And the way they have, I mean, just look at this shot. Microphones hanging down like they're, uh, you know, uh, like th decorating the space. And this is very black. This is dark, like onyx. And here, see, even like this piece here that looks like a, let's say, a, a P or a, or an I or something else. Um, it's It just adds a touch. The little details, guys. I'm looking at the, the details. You know, of course, in the artistic world, uh, we, we must look and, uh, and we appreciate and, and we think and we absorb the information around us, everything, everywhere, all at once. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm just really, really kind of blown away. Like this shot here almost reminds me of Salvador Dali, the way everything's like drooping and folds. And with this background here, like a blue sky with this sort of dark orangey landscape, uh, I mean, I could go on and on guys but essentially there is a lot of style in here personality definitely switch ups switch ups in i mean i you know just by clicking here the intro with the kind of deep psychological thinking um that that gets you going for the intro and here we have almost like a black and white sepia color that reminds me of we're going back to like the 1940s and the way she's dressed everything right the hair slick back she just you know really looks of the time period back in the day even the p i think even the people here that they have right shooting with this this almost looks like an older camera older glasses just the curtains um but anyway then we transform into, uh, and also the transitions are on point. Um, what looks to be like an arena. See, there's a lot of mountains here. This is why I'm puzzled. Where could this be? 
Where could this be? Morocco? I really don't I'm 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 curious. I could just look it up right now and Google will tell me. But I also like to live with a little bit of mystery in my life. So please in the comments. I will not find out until I read the comments from you guys. So please somebody tell me. <laughs> or else I'll I'm just gonna not know. But you know, then it goes goes into this. They're all wearing kind of white, almost like a ritual going on there, a, a rebirth, if you will um changing the outfits looking more sporty like more you know relaxed comfortable for dancing but it's outside in the middle of a forest you know almost like i would place <clears throat> i would switch you know in my mind have these outfits uh here in this environment if i can get a if this could work this will work like almost have those outfits here and have these in the forest that look more mysterious. I, I think that would be what, you know, normally what you would see by they, they kind of switched it around. And then here, like going back to school, but this is really like outdated and, and formal kind of wear all baggy and, and dark, almost like from World War Two, right? And the hair looks different. Her look, very interesting look. Her eyes, her demeanor. Okay, and then here with the... And see how they have... So they have this background here, right? The backdrop. But they've added little like... um, uh, What do they call those? You know, almost like when you're... When you have this box, when you have something in a, in a, a small box, and you put different layers to give it more depth, right? But they've, you know, enlarged this and have these silhouettes, this these cutouts, giving it more depth than it really is. It's 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 almost like an optical illusion. It's crazy what what that does. Even in the foreground here, in front of her, side by her, so it it just it makes us believe that there's more depth. There's more going on than than what there really is uh, so that's really cool this over here again with the eye I'm gonna say it's an eye it looks like an eye most of all um, even a little bit like um, what is that Mike Kazowski from Monsters Inc the little green guy that's what that reminds me of anyway guys I'm going into a lot of detail and and the video is getting kind of long so I'm just kind of uh, intrigued by all the details all the different styles the the music of course is it's it's captivating but you know this video specifically the visuals it's what's getting me and that intro that hook it's uh not very common you know to almost like a documentary kind of intro so this was this was a, an experience uh, i really want to know more about her so please guys uh, comment down below let me know what i should react to next from brunette i would be uh i would be honored to hear your comments and your thoughts and also if you enjoyed the reaction what the heck have a heart hit the like subscribe share join the channel thank you thank you thank you uh and at the end do a flip till the next thanks for watching